dream machines. This one is maybe the most famous of them all and uh, this one is maybe the most important of them all because this is the flying machine which gave wings to the world, to us, citizens of the world. This is a machine, probably why it's called the golden age of aviation. And uh, one of the uh, Virginia Airlines of America called Transcontinental and Western Airlines, TWA, later it became Transworld Airlines, Transcontinental and Western genius called Jack Northrop designed that one. They gave him a pair of Pratt and Whitney engines, very reliable, it was said. That, uh, a journalist asked uh, Ike Eisenhower, saying what were the most important weapons of the war. And uh, Eisenhower mentioned the Bermuda, the Jeep, and the DC-3 or C-47. He never mentioned any warplane, he never mentioned any fighter, he didn't talk about the Don. Instead of buying military aircraft for the fuel they had in, they went on to buy military aircraft to use them as civilian aircraft. And there were scores of DC-3, and let me be personal again, my dad at the time was, uh, he was one of the bosses at Air France, and in 1946, they went, was flown and, and all. And then they took their car, they had selected the numbers of the aircraft written on the tails. They took their cars and, and traveled around the base with a white paint and a, and a brush. And whenever they found one uh, they had selected, they just made a cross across uh, the tail. Went shopping to America and brought back this magnificent skyships and put them to the roof and transform them. What a story. Wow. There's nothing. Uh, a business class fit on the aircraft and that's all it is for. And the stewardess. And a stewardess. The stewardess was born with the DC-3. Yeah. American Airlines uh, of the 30s introduced because of these flights across America from west to east coast and, and back,